everybody. Just double check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we gotta do that social distancing. Okay, we don't like to break the rules. No. Uh, we'll pile in the car after the two of us. We'll head back to your place. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, but uh, for now, uh, we're keeping the six foot yeah. distance. Uh, later on, we'll jump in the car. Hi guys, I'm keeping the distance too. <laughs> Anyways, how's everybody doing? Um, I'm, if I, you guys can see me, I'm over at uh, Balsam Pits with Danny and Joe and my son. And we're gonna do a small investigation and uh, see if we can connect with anybody that used to be in the hospital that used to be here. Um, at the end of the video, I'll give you guys a little update on what used to be here and a little bit of information and history about it. But for now, I'm just gonna get right into the investigation. And we'll go say hi to Danny and Joe. There they are. Here we are. Hey, hello to everybody. Hello, hello. Hey, how's it going? How we doing? I hey. haven't seen these guys in ages. Get, get it's back. so nice. And get back. Son. You too. Get back. Say hi, hi. Brayden. Okay. I'm recording, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, so there we're a king length away. Yeah. Just so everybody knows, we're okay, Danny's cheating. He's not supposed to be over there. Hi, my name is Spud. How are you? They call me Spud. Good to see you all. Gang length away. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All righty. We're going to get started on our investigation. I'll see you guys in a minute. Sure. According to the research I got and from some old friends, the hospital itself used to be up here and part way down there. Okay, where that dugout is. Well, there used to be a basement there. Now, when they took the place out, right? They decided, well, we're gonna we're gonna dig out all this dirt area, right? Well, then in their infinite wisdom, they decided, let's make a couple of baseball diamonds. So all the dirt from this area has been transferred and was dumped off at Junot Street. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, when I was at Junot Street, I'm sitting there trying to figure out how come I'm seeing all these hospital uh, people in hospital gowns and and. and doctor's clothes and everything else I'll, I'll going along the tail there's like 40 people there then I just I thought well wait a second if they were attached to the earth and all the dirt from here went there yep. so mm -hmm. that that's Very what I'm possible. looking for today I'm trying to get uh, answers whether or not that happened mm -hmm. and I'm also when I go to Juno I'm gonna see if, if I get confirmation there now if I get confirmation from both places Sorry. Uh, if I get confirmation from both places, then we'll, we'll know for sure that it, it worked out. So, and I want to thank uh, Joe Blue Falcon for having his phone on. Uh, <laughs> it's not like we haven't done this before or anything. It's uh, I'm out of practice. Oh, oh yeah. So you know, it's just. Oh, hang on, hang on. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hi, mom. How's it going? Yeah, good to good to talk to you, mom. <laughs> I'm out of practice. Okay, so that that was awesome. Okay. Uh, normally, normally I just turn my phone off uh, when we're doing this. <laughs> I thought I did. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, hey guys. So we're just you give you guys a little idea of where we are. Uh, here are the pits here. Down. Don't jinx me. You hear that, guys? Joe's hoping that I fall down this hill. Everybody's and then, <laughs> and then he can film it. Make a good thumbnail, huh? Sorry guys, I'm pointing the camera down for some reason because I'm an idiot. I'm just trying to take it slow. Oh, I'm almost, so almost we are slipped. going to... What's that? We are going to uh, try to do some investigations over here. Um, I told Danny to drive around because he can't... If you guys can see this hill. Uh, we don't need Danny tumbling down this hill. I'll just use a wheelchair. <laughs> So he drove around, he's going to be over there, there's Danny over there in his car, and it's easier if he, sorry I'm out of breath guys, I'm out of shape, fat and out of shape. So we're going to go over here, maybe sit in the dugout, and try some investigating there, and I'll be right back. Okay, so if you guys can see this, this is what the hospital used to look like, I don't know if you guys can see that, wait till the camera focuses. But usually I'm not better, sure if it's, it's, <clears throat> it's dry in the light here. So that's what the hospital used to look like. If you guys can see that. And Danny said it's up, it was up there, up the hill.
Okay. There's three. Yeah. There's three layers of time. It's really weird. I got three separate visions. One on top of each other. There's there's one here. There's one here. And then there's a third one behind that. Okay. There's a guy pushing the gurney and the guy on the gurney's dead and then there's some more patients standing in a row like they're getting pills or something like uh, mm -hmm. people getting pills. Then there's like a few military people but um, they don't look like they're, I don't know, maybe training? Look like maneuvers or something? And then there's just like a blur of the both, of both all, everything seems to mash together somehow. It's so weird. Even that, for me, that's weird. But I, that makes sense though, because you said that because the hospital was here and then you said the military, afterwards the, the military thing was here. So that makes perfect sense. It makes sense, but I've never seen time skip into each other like oh, that. Oh, I see, okay. Like I, I've seen, I, I normally, if, if it's a time thing, I'll see the one section at a time. But for whatever reason, it's like both sets of time, that's basically what it, see, it feels like. Both sets of time. We're meshing together, kind of? Yeah, and they're jumping to the future. Like, they both want to tell a story. They both want mm. something said. I well, say it's like they're pushing, both pushing towards me. Well, maybe the mixing of the time is from when they were moving the soil and all everything was getting jumbled together. That could and, be. and the spirits were intermingling and, and meshing and meshing together. That could be, too. Which is forcing, you know, the two timelines to come together as one and trying to tell the story at the same time. Yeah, it, it's mm -hmm. just... I've never had that. I've been doing this 51 years. I've never had where two timelines are pushing for dominance. That's what it is. It's like is that what it is? Yeah, it's That's like not sound. Does it sound good though? Well, it's not. They're not doing it to compete with each other. Okay. They're trying to push through the veil so I can talk to them or you guys can catch them. They don't realize that they're both doing it. Okay. Right. I gotcha. So. Okay. so the two timelines, one timeline wants attention and, and so does the other one. I don't think they're aware of each other. Okay. Like, so that sounds to me like then that they're going to come forward then and, and try to communicate. That's what I'm Do you thinking. get that indication that they want to communicate or speak today? Yeah, yeah. That's good then. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I get that they really want to... To, to be heard. To be heard. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm aware of this other one. There's a lady that wants to be, wants to tell a story. Uh, something about... Uh, tell me if you can find a name, if you get a name. Okay, I something to do with name. smallpox. Okay. What's your name, dear? Jolene? Jolene Butler. Mm, okay. Jolene but definitely Jolene Butler. I did research on online and there was a Sarah as well that I think has passed away in the hospital as well. So if you guys get a Sarah, okay. Let me know. Yeah, if you get Jolene, let me know. Okay. But def definitely definitely Jolene Butler. Okay. Yeah, 100%. That sounds familiar because I was reading about the history of this place, so I'm going to look that up again. It's yeah. interesting. Okay. Yeah, my history comes from the only history I got was from people that knew the times, mm -hmm. like my father and, and mm -hmm. a couple other grand, uh, grandfathers told me the information, right? Yeah. So I, I didn't, I don't, I don't bother with the books. <laughs> no, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Okay. Okay. So uh, we'll talk to y'all very shortly. Okay. Okay. Hi guys. So I'm sitting here in the dugout. I'll just let you guys know. Sorry. I'm just going to show you guys where I am. I'm in the dugout. So Danny and Joe and my son are, my son abandoned me. He is, I never tried the zoom on this camera. Let's try it. So Danny and Joe are over there. There we go. Danny just waved. Okay, and I'm in the dugout. And I'm gonna start with the um, SV7 spirit box and then we're gonna go to other things and um, we're gonna see who we can contact.
Okay, guys, I'm going to try the uh, Echo Box for a little bit. I don't have any. Okay, what was that? Okay, so that wasn't that me putting that down, so I did get a hit. And I'm doing the same thing I just did, and I'm not getting a hit, so that must have been a spirit, I'm assuming. Okay, that's good. Hey, <clears throat> don't want to interrupt, but there's a little girl named Julie here who said she'd talk to you. Oh, hi, Julie. Okay, so you can sit there. That's Shelly, right? So, so you sit right here. Sit right there. There you go. And then when you feel like talking or there's a little thing you can touch, make the lights go on. With pretty lights, if you'd like to touch it, it's not going to hurt you. Okay? Right. So so you can you can stay here and get to know Shelly a little bit, okay? Okay, I'm out of here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bring them to me, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You said her name was Julie? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're like... Uh. Is there a girl named Julie here? You can use this device to speak if you like, okay? Because it'll give you a voice. Can the spirit please touch this black device here for me? And it'll light up pretty lights. Need help? You just gotta need help. Okay. Should we say a prayer before we leave? Would you like if we said a prayer before we left? Can the little girl speak and say her name, please? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Are there any nurses or doctors here that would like to speak today? Anybody who's passed away in the hospital? Can you tell me what year you died, please? Or what you passed away from? Is everybody at peace here? Can anybody at all touch this device here for me, please? Just to tell me that you're here? I'd really appreciate it. Is there anything any spirit would like to say? Because this gives you a voice. You can talk if you'd like to speak. We're here with 
with all, with respect and peace and love, okay? Are there any spirits that are around me right now? Yes or no? Yes? It sounded like an older woman. Do you have a story that you'd like to tell me about your life? Okay, I'm going to try another device. I'm stopping communication. I'm going to try something else that you guys can talk through, okay? We're going to try it. I love the intro, it kills me. Spirit, try speaking to this. Oh my god. That sounded creepy as shit. Do any spirits want to speak through this? Go ahead and try. Any doctors or, or patients here? Well, not really doctors, I guess. Sorry, that doesn't make any sense. Any patients here? Any patients that passed away at the hospital here? I come with respect, and I just wanted to say hi and see if anybody wanted to speak today. Polio or anything like that? Dysentery? Smallpox? Um, anything like that? So guys, I'm not going to get much, much of this next clonic, because the spirits have to get used to it, but I'll try it for a couple minutes. This gives you a voice, you can speak. If any spirits would like to speak today. We're not going to be too, too long here, so if you'd like to speak, you go right ahead. Tell me your name, please. Yeah. Go ahead. No. No? You don't want to tell me your name? I come here with respect. That sounds like a child. Was that a child? Wait. Uh, Hi. Hi, spirits. I want to give love and light to any, any patients here that have passed away at the hospital. Do you 
want me to put it back to the other thing that you can speak to? Was that one easier for you? You need help? How can I help you? Do you want us to say a prayer before we leave? Would you like a prayer? Butterfly. First butterfly I've seen this spring. Good girl? Who's a good girl? Okay, I'll turn this one back on. Go ahead if you'd like to talk. And good. And good? Is everyone good here? I'm gonna stop for a minute, guys. I think there's somebody coming. Can anybody at all touch this device here for me? Cool. Anybody at all? Can you try hard? Stop it for a minute. Sorry, right, guys, I'm trying to focus here. Okay, so there's my son and Joe. And then Danny's over there. Oops, sorry about this, guys. I'm still getting used to this camera. So they're way over there. It was a gorgeous, gorgeous day today. Well, anything good so far? Eh? Anything good so far? Yeah, I think so. You think so? I think we got some good stuff. Good. I asked, uh, uh, did any people, anybody leave here? And they said 20. I said 20 what? people. What? Yeah, I said 20 people left here and they said, yeah, with dirt. No way. Yeah. Playing as Jane. I can't wait to see you play that back on your video so I can hear that. Wow, no way. Yeah, 20 with dirt. Yeah, we're going to have to go to Junot Park then. Yeah, no two ways about oh, it. Oh, yeah. But like I say, if, if I said, well, I told the spirits we're going to go over there and if I can get a hold of them, you know, see what they yep. say. Like if, if, if we go to Junot now and they say that there's 20 of them that came from dirt. Wow. Like, how much proof do you need? I know, right? You know, Holy so. cow. So I was real, real excited about that. That was... There's some things I thought I heard, but I won't know until I play it back. Yeah. I thought I heard the name Julie. I'm not sure. I heard it from here. Did you? Yeah. Like I said, I, it's so fast the that J, before my brain can comprehend, I have, to, I have to listen back to it. But The J was really, really quiet, but the Uli. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was like Julie. The, the J was quiet. But I heard so we'll it. see. Did brain do any EVP sessions? I told him to go do an EVP session. <laughs> uh, he, he, he wanted to do my camera for me. So. Oh, okay. I'll have him do an EVP session before before we leave. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna focus I don't know what they're them. doing over there. There they are. I'm still getting used to the focus on this camera. There we go. Okay, guys, I'm going to take a quick break. Can any spirit touch this for me, please? Before I go? Or Julie, if you touch it to let her know that you're going to talk to her next time. Just a quick touch. It won't hurt you. It's just light. It's 
pretty lights actually. Hey, hey guys, so we're gonna wrap it up now. Um, I think I might have got one little blip on my K2, but I didn't really get any hits on the K2. Um, so I'm looking forward to looking back to see what I got. Uh, Danny and Joe got quite a bit of good stuff, so that'll be interesting. I can't wait to see their video. So again, I'll just give you guys a quick look where we are. Danny and Joe are gonna leave now. I'm gonna wrap it up. Okay, wave bye guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and my son, he spent some time with Danny and yeah. Joe today. Did you have fun? Yeah? yeah? Yeah. You got some good stuff though. He's my paranormal boy. Okay guys, so we're going to wrap it up. We're going to go. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good day. Bye. Okay guys, so I know I don't... Oh, there we go. Oh, for this... I was packing up my stuff and um, Braden was talking about a kid and I got blips on it. If there is a kid here, can you touch the, just touch the, the K2 meter at the front? It's not going to hurt you, it's just a nice, cool light. Who touched this earlier when I was not filming? Can you touch it again please before we leave? Because we're going to go now. Was it that person said, that said that kid? Or a kid? Of course, I'm not going to get it on here now. Darn, I missed it. Yeah, guys, I missed the blip that, that we got while I was packing up my gear. Do you not want us to go? Excuse me, that was me. Do you want us to stay a little bit longer? Do you want us to leave? Okay, well, we want to thank the spirits for talking. We'll come back, okay?